Hey, welcome back to Off the Grid. If you collect and store water at your off-grid cabin, you're probably going to need one of these things. And you're going to need a couple of these. And you're going to need a bottle of this. In this episode, we're going to talk about what these things are and why you need them. In an earlier episode, we talked about how we collect water on the island. What we didn't talk about was the problems that you can run into when water is stored this way for long periods of time. The problems we're talking about are, first of all, smell. Sort of a rotten egg smell. And the second are viruses and bacteria that can grow in standing water. Let me show you here, turn these valves off. sort of our pre-filter from the pump. And you can see this is just in the last week. And if you store your water in a tank, this is probably going to happen no matter how careful you are. And warm summers are going to make it happen even faster. Now, there are three reasons for this. First, if you're collecting water from the roof, you're also collecting Anything else that is on the roof, like bird poop and leaves and dirt. Second, whatever's in your rain gutters is going to add to the mix. Third, standing water, whether it's in a rain barrel or a cistern like this, and no matter how well you cover it or try to cover it, is an oasis for mosquitoes and bugs looking for a place to lay their eggs. And they're going to find their way in. Mix all this stuff together and something's bound to happen. Peek in your storage tank, and the first thing you're probably going to notice is what looks like small, very active aquatic inchworms. Those are probably mosquito larvae. The second thing you'll probably notice is that rotten egg smell that I mentioned. Now, this is, called, this is something that's called anaerobic fermentation. It's a very natural process that occurs when all that junk in our tank starts growing bacteria. The bacteria consume the oxygen in the water, and the byproduct is hydrogen sulfide. That's what we're smelling, that rotten egg smell. So, what to do about it? Number one is do not drink the water, even if it looks pretty clear. Don't shower with it, don't brush your teeth with it, don't do anything with it until you purify it. If you drink it, it probably won't kill you, but it can make you very sick. Step two is to kill the bugs. And the best way to do that is with bleach. But don't use household bleach. Look for a bleach that says disinfectant. The active ingredient is sodium hypochlorite. And it comes in either 5% solution or an 8.25% solution. We use about a quarter cup to disinfect this 400 gallon tank. I'm gonna show you a chart from the EPA that gives you guidelines for disinfecting water with bleach. Number three is to aerate your water. This will make it aerobic instead of anaerobic. That's bad for the bugs, but it's good for you because it makes the smell go away. Now, here's how we address the problem. We built this small unit that we stick inside our water tank. It's mounted on a steel rod mounted on a sleeve so we can slide it up and down when we set it inside the tank. We simply adjust the hose clamp here bending on water level. With the bilge pump here you can pick up at a hardware store or a boating store just three amps. It's connected to a rubber hose. When we set it inside the tank it jets water into the top of the cistern and as it falls down it aerates the water. We use this thing about an hour every other day or so and makes the smell go away. Step five is to filter your water. Now we have an outside filter which takes a cartridge that is uh, either a paper filter or a porous filter like this. It takes the solids out of the water. Then once it gets inside the house we use a 0.5 micron charcoal filter. This takes out 99.9 percent .9 of the bugs. As a final step we run the water past a UV light which basically sterilizes the water, killing any remaining 
irises. Step five is clean up your act before the next rainstorm. Keep your gutters clean. Dump your first load of water, which is probably washed debris from your, on your roof back into the tank. And clean out your cistern at least once a year to get the accumulated gunk off the bottom. Now, if all this talk about mosquitoes and parasites and anaerobic bacteria make you a little squeamish, even after you've been through the process of purifying your water, go down to the local grocery store. They've got a reverse osmosis machine. You can fill up a bottle like this for cheap and use it for your drinking. Even we do this in the middle of summer for our drinking water. We'll see you on our next trip across the water. Thanks for watching.